we'll be doing heart opening and release. So let's get comfortable on the mat, right? Feeling nice and even, spine long, hands in a comfortable spot. Okay, so here's when we sit, we don't want the hands pulling us forward. So just put your hands where your shoulders can be over your hips, just as though you were standing. And breathe. Let your breath come into your practice. All right, and since we're talking about gratitude, let's put one hand on the heart, one hand on the belly. Exhale. Observe the breath as it goes up past the heart and out through the nose. And then inhale, observe the breath as it comes in past the heart, gathering and comes deep into the belly. And then as you exhale, keep observing the breath, the flow of the breath, belly, heart, nose. And inhale, nose, heart, belly. And you can either defocus your eyes or even close them if that's comfortable for you. Begin to notice if there's any difference in the temperature of the breath when it comes in and when it leaves. So you're noticing, right? It may or may not be. We're not forcing it. And after your next exhale, let your hands come comfortably down by your side. All right, exhale now and inhale, float the arms up. And as your palms touch, you bring your hands to heart center. So actually, Anjali Mudra, which we're in now, is a hand position of gratitude. Hands back by your side. Inhale. Gather up. Lots of good stuff. Palms together. And back into Anjali Mudra. Gratitude. And inhale up. And one more time. Think about something that you are grateful for right in this moment and release. All right, so let's get our spine moving here. And you can sit back and change the cross of your legs. Inhale and exhale. As we move into cats and cows, and this time we do have the hands on the knees, and gently arching the back, gazing up, and rounding forward. And you know, all this, so you're just going to quietly notice what's moving in the body. And the next time you're rounded into your cat pose just hold here and then come to a nice long spine hands to your heart okay let's go ahead and cross the legs the other way again okay and we're going to have the left hand gently down on the mat right arm up by the ear and without crashing into the left hand tilt to the left Right hand down, left arm up, tilt to the right. Yeah. And just keep going side to side. Notice what happens in this movement. The whole range of movement from your arm being up to being down, body being straight to being tilted. The next 
next time you're over to the left, stay here. Take your left hand to your thigh and make some nice big circles with your right arm. Give the spine a good chance to release here. Next time you're over to the left, just stay here, keeping that right hip sit bone grounded, left arm parallel, pressing away with the left fingertips. Good. Now take your right shoulder behind you and just gaze up, heart open, and bring your hands back up, coming center, right hand down, tilt, right hand to the right thigh, and circle. Taking time to feel the whole movement. What's happening here? And the next time you're over to the right, Stay there, left hip is grounded, right arm extends, right fingertips press away, left shoulder back, heart opens up, come center, draw the palms together, inhale, exhale, back to the heart. All right, shake things out. So we're going to do up twist. So it's going to be hands to the heart, legs up, right ankle in front of the left, Arms up, inhale, exhale, twist to the right. Arms up, legs up, left ankle in front. And as you exhale, twist to the left. And again, it's up, right ankle in front, twist right. Up, left ankle in front, twist left. Okay, so try and keep your spine straight as opposed to leaning so far over. Yeah, better to twist less and, and keep the spine straight. Okay, and that's better. Come back up, right ankle in front of left here, and just keep going. So take it gently side to side. Oh yeah, much, much longer spine there. And side to side. Find a pace that works for you. And the next time you're over to the right, whenever you get there, stay here. Mm -hmm. Just take your time getting back over to the right. And then inhale to lengthen the spine and carefully without pulling, without tugging on the right leg, just go ahead and twist a little more to the right as you turn your gaze towards your right shoulder. And then as you exhale, turn your gaze toward the left. And exhale, turn back to the right. And draw your arms up, feet up. Left ankle in front, taking it to the left, staying here. Elongate the spine, deepen the twist just from the torso. Doesn't matter how far, just keep, keep it from the torso. Gaze to the left shoulder. On your next exhale, gaze to the right. And exhale, gaze back over to the left. And take it up, arms up, legs up, get that core going here. Uncross, feet down, inhale and exhale. All right, let's get some uh, interesting core work going here. Okay, so your knees are bent. And you're going to have a nice long spine, arms forward, and arms back here, okay? So it's, we're moving into basically a boat pose, and you're going to take the right leg up and tap the toes down. Right leg up and tap down. Leg up, tap down, 
leg up, tap down, and relax. Okay, and take it back. We're going left leg up, tap down, and left, tap down. Feeling anything? Tap down, up, tap down, and relax. Okay, now we're going to switch the legs kind of in mid-air. So take it back, good core engagement here. Right leg up, tap, left up, tap, right, tap, left. Up, 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 and up. Might be a little more challenging right now. Up, three, left, and left. Oh, and release. All right, was that a little challenging? Come on, okay, so come on up. So now we're going to take that to the side, all right? So arms are long and you're going to go right arm back, left arm forward, and take your right leg up, tap down, come up, up. So we're tapping down, we're not landing the foot. Part of the work is keeping those toes pointed, not bringing the foot down. Open, and last time, and release. All right, other side. Arms up, okay? Take the, this will be your left arm, right? Or, yeah, okay, left arm back, and tap, and up and tap. We're doing other side. Up and tap. Yes. Back and tap. Take it back and tap and back and tap. Woo! Shake it out. All right. Let's give this one a shot just for fun. Arms are forward and we're going to try and go side to side. Okay? So, Right arm back, left leg up, and come. And left arm back, right leg up. Tap, staying with the tap, not resting the foot. That's a lot of the work, right? You'll notice a difference if you rest your foot. And we started with the right arm back. Next time you go left arm back, oh, you'll be even. Bring it in. <laughs> All right, let's shake the legs out. Get those hips back. Did you feel that? Core is awake now? All right, so let's support ourselves with our hands here. Take the feet mat width distance apart with the knees bent and just let the legs go side to side. So some hip opening here, side to side. Think more about hip opening than are my knees, how far down are my knees coming? We're just letting the knees go side to side. All right, and then come back center, extend and shake out the legs. All right, so from here, we're going to do more heart opening, okay? And coming back to easy seat position here, your legs could be straight for this if you prefer. Hands come to heart, Anjali Mudra. Then inhale, lengthen the spine as you bring your fingertips up. Take your hands behind you and shine your heart up. And exhale, hands back to heart center. Inhale, fingertips up. Exhale, hands behind. Inhale, shine your heart forward. Exhale, hands to heart. Yep, making sense. Inhale, up. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, heart shines. Exhale, hands. One more time, it's inhale, up. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, shine up. Exhale, hands to heart. And release. Okay, so now we're going to take the legs straight and do reverse plank. So the first way to do it, we're going to have the hands behind, fingers pointing toward your hips. Some people's hands are way more, bodies are more comfortable with their fingers pointing behind. Okay, 
and we're just going to arch the back and shine the heart up. Reverse plank with the hips down. Yeah, without throwing the head back and bring it back to center. Okay, let's shake out the arms. Bring the hands back behind. This time, option, lift the hips, grounding the heels. And as you come up, lift, lift, lift. Good, and release. Woo. All right, so we're going to do that two more times with some arms. You can do one hips down, one hips up, two hips down, or two hips up, right? That's why we went through them, so you can make a choice. Hands to heart center, exhale. Inhale, fingertips up. Exhale, hands down behind you. Inhale, lift into your reverse plank, hips up or down, your choice. And release. Exhale, hands to heart center. One more time. Inhale, fingertips up. Exhale, hands down. Reverse plank. Oh, and hands to heart center. And shake everything out. All right. Come on back to an easy seat. And we just did a lot of opening for the front of the shoulders. We're just going to counter balance that. I'll turn sideways so you can see what's going on here. Arms are out, right hand to left shoulder, left hand to right. Just tuck the chin and roll the shoulder slightly forward. So it's not into a whole back thing here. It's, we're focused on the shoulders. Open the arms wide and left hand goes first this time, right hand second and take it forward, shoulder release. Woo! And shake it out. All right. Uh, that was our hips, right? Yeah, we did. Okay, so let's come to tabletop now. Okay. And we're going to have the knees under the hips and working knee down plank to push up. And remember, push up, elbow creases are facing forward, which means your shoulder blades are on your spine and as you come into knee down plank and then push up the elbows are going back take it up and hips toward heels so it's forward push up and back okay and take this at your speed knee down plank push up and Yes. And the next time you press back, take it to a child's pose with your forehead resting, right? It could be connected to the mat. It could be resting on something else, but we definitely want it resting. And come back to your gratitude. Float up into downward facing dog. So we find four points of contact, nice and even here. Inhale and exhale. And go ahead and walk out your dog. Bend one knee and the other. Heels alternating. One heel down and hold. And switch, other heel down and hold. And then both heels down and hold. All right, and take a journey to the top of your mat, letting your feet get wider each time. Mat with distance, forearms to the thighs, hands to Anjali Mudra. And as you lift up, think about your gratitude as you lift your hands in Anjali Mudra. Inhale, and then as you exhale, Come into mountain pose. Feel your balance. Situate your feet so that all four corners are comfortably touching the mat. Inhale and exhale. And shake things out. All right, so let's go ahead 
and um, grab two blocks. Have them at the front edge of your mat, one on each side, okay? I'm going to move this one out of the way so you can see what's going on. So the first thing we're going to do is a sun salutation right and left with a knee down crescent lunge, and then we're going to use the blocks to get more deep into the hip flexor, front hip flexor, and the hamstrings. So here we go. Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, swan dive over straight uh, legs and swan dive from the hip creases. Hands to the thighs, hips back, shine your heart forward, half lift. Sink the hips, hands down. Step back with the right leg and move around in that lunge. And from here, coming into plank, knees up or down. Chaturanga, nice and strong. Oh, looking good there, yes. All right, and let's take a hands-free cobra. So the hands are off the mat a few inches, shoulders toward the ears, down the spine. Don't lift your head, lift your heart and let the head come along for the ride. And now draw your elbows closer to your waist. Hands-free cobra release. And take it to down dog. And the lift-up version is toes tucked, gaze toward the mat. Of course, you could always go just the, to table and then down dog. We half lift, we go the rest of the way, and come into down dog. Inhale and exhale. So we now have four points of balance in this downward facing dog. Let's take the right leg up to hip height and turn this into a three point balance. And tap the right toes down and up. Tap down and up. Keeping that three-point balance, just letting that right leg gently up and down as though it weighs almost nothing. Hold the right leg up, take a big step forward. Left knee down. And we're coming into crescent lunge here, low crescent lunge. All right, bring the hands down, tuck the toes, lift your back knee, engage your body, nice and strong, big step forward with the back foot, half lift, forward fold, straight legs, and float the arms out and up, palms touch, gather all good things, bring them into your heart with Anjali, Anjali Mudra, and release. All right, we're going to do the same thing on the Starting on the left now. Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, swan dive. Straight legs fold from the hip creases. Half lift. And draw the hips down. Take the hands to the mat. Left leg back this time. Hang out in the lunge. Enjoy. Nice. Moving into plank. Knees up or down. Knees up or down in your plank. Good. Nice, strong, solid chaturanga. Oh, nice. All right. We're going to do that hands-free cobra a couple of times. So gaze towards your mat. Hands um, off the mat a few inches. Shoulders toward the ears down the spine. Lift up and release. Lift up again, elbows toward waist, and release, okay? Now let's extend the arms into a Y so the arms are long, okay? And from here, we're going to lift up. Now bring the elbows to the waist, woo, and release. All right, we did a lot of back bending, so make a pillow with your hands, rest your forehead, bend your knees, and let your legs move side to side. Bring the feet down and find your way to down dog. 
So table to down dog is great. The lift up is great. Come into down dog, find four points of balance. Nice and balanced, nice elongated legs. The spine has a chance to release here. And keeping the balance now, take the left leg up, three point balance, and tap the left toes down and up. Hold the left leg up, take a big step forward, bring the right knee down, and come into low crescent lunge. Arrange yourself for low crescent lunge. Hands down, lift your back knee. So all the muscles of the body are super engaged here. We don't even need the hands. So your option, hands light on the mat or hands off the mat, step forward, half lift, forward fold. And float the arms out and up, gathering. Palms touch, hands come to heart center in Anjali Mudra and release. All right, so now we're going to use the blocks. Have one on either side of your mat, feet hip width distance apart. Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, swan dive over straight legs. Come into your half lift and sink the hips down. Take your right leg back and draw the right knee down. The right knee is behind the ankle. Now take your blocks to their highest edge. They're on either side of the left foot. Highest edge, hands on top of the block. And then lean into it. Yeah, get that really good release in your front hip flexor. And then roll your blocks to their second edge as you set your hips toward your back heel and lift your left toes. So pretend my block is invisible and my hand is still on it. Hamstring, nice stretch here. And then we come back to the third edge of the block, deepening into the low lunge for the front hip flexor. Good. And then back to the hamstring stretch, second edge of the block. The hips are going to be higher or lower depending on where you are today. and roll back up, okay? You can take the blocks out of your way for now, hands to the mat, and just slide your front leg back and take your other leg forward, coming into the low crescent lunge, blocks to their upper edge, highest edge, left knee is behind the left hip, your back knee is behind your back hip, and yeah, low crescent lunge. And then turning the blocks to their second edge. The front toes are lifted, coming into that hamstring stretch. And let's come back, crescent on top of high blocks. And hamstring stretch. And then just draw your front leg back. Take the blocks out of your way. <laughs> Maybe more gracefully than that. Put your hands under your shoulders and come into down dog. So you have, you know, probably have to rearrange yourself a little bit to get into a nice comfortable down dog here. 
Now see how the hamstrings feel in down dog. Inhale and exhale. Walk your hands up to your feet. Hips back, knees bend. Hands come to the thighs. I mean, forearms come to the thighs. Hands come to your heart. Press through the legs to lift up. Inhale and back to mountain pose. Okay, so with all that having gone on, we're going to go through the sun salutation again and just notice how the movements feel with that extra work on hamstrings and front hip flexors. And we're going to do a crescent lunge on our way and on our way back. So feet are hip width distance here. Did that make sense? Okay, all right, hands by your side. We're in mountain pose. Okay, so the point of this is just to notice how everything's feeling now, right? Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, swan dive over those hip creases. Where are those hamstrings? How are they doing? Bend at the knees, shine your heart forward, half lift. Setting the hips down, hands down, right leg back to lunge. Right knee down, it's behind the right hip, into low crescent lunge. Hands down, taking it plank to chaturanga. And then, just lifting into a gentle cobra, lifting the hands if you like, release and find your way back and up to downward facing dog. Many methods. Inhale and exhale. Finding four points of balance. Staying balanced as you raise the right leg and step forward with the right foot, bringing the left knee down to work your way into low crescent lunge with the left knee behind the left hip. And bring the hands down, tuck the back toes. Good, let's go into plank here. We don't have to come all the way up. We're gonna go back into plank, knees up or down. Chaturanga, gentle cobra, release, down dog. Inhale and exhale here. Okay, so we're going to, this time, take the left leg up, step forward with the left foot, bring the right knee down, float the arms up, and release. Now tuck your back toes and step back to down dog. Both feet to the mat, inhale and exhale. We're going to take the right leg up, step forward, bring the left knee down, and into low crescent lunge. Hands down, tuck the toes, lift the back leg, step forward, half lift, forward fold, and float the arms out and up, palms touch and hands come heart center. All right, and let's shake everything out. Okay, inhale and exhale. All right, so um, we're going to do some, a little bit of wide-legged forward folding here. So if you want to turn sideways, if that works better for you and keep your feet on the mat, or if you just want to take your legs wide here, okay? And we're turning the toes forward, hands, uh, Index fingers into the hip creases, inhale, exhale, keeping hips over ankles, just start to fold forward, go halfway or less. Okay, sensing those hamstrings, yeah. Then bring the hands to heart center, Anjali Mudra, and stand, 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 inhale and exhale. All right, so now we're going to take the arms overhead, 
Inter, uh, well, not exactly interlace, take opposite hand to opposite elbow here, and we're going to come forward, keeping the upper arms by the ears. As soon as you lose that, stop folding forward. Upper arms by the ears here, folding from the hip creases. And keep going as far as you want. As long as the upper arms are by the ears. And then slowly start to rise, keeping the upper arms by the ears. Come up, up, up. Inhale, release the hands, and step or hop your feet together, shake things out. All right, let's uh, just move around. See how the body's doing right now. See how everything's feeling. See if there's anything in your space that you want for when we head down to the earth and come to the top of your mat. When you're feeling like it's time for you, come to the top of your mat, find mountain pose, and breathe. Now turn your palms out, and as you bring your hands to your heart, gather in your gratitude. Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, swan dive. Hands to the thighs, hips back. One last lift of the heart into half lift. Setting the hips toward the earth, hands down. Find your way to downward facing dog. And in dog, go ahead and bring your big toes together and then let the knees go to one side, hips to the other. Come back to center, both knees down, sit off to the side and find seated mountain pose. Feet are flexed, spine is long, and shake it out, release. Okay, so we're going to soften up here with a little forward folding, just gently arms up and gentle forward fold. We're not trying to go anywhere, we're just folding, just feeling some release. And one more time, arms gently up and gentle forward fold. And roll back up to seated. Go ahead and bend your knees. Take yourself down here. Okay, inhale and exhale. All right, we're going to extend the arms and legs long. Inhale, exhale, right knee only comes in. That left knee can bend if it wants to, or it could stay, the leg could stay straight. Inhale and exhale. Now, take your left arm out to the side and keeping your right hand on your shin or your hamstring, let that right leg open out to the side and back. Take your left hand outside your right leg, right arm out to the side, draw the knee just past the belly button. And then the knee all the way over to the left. Take your gaze to your right hand. And then coming back through center, ankle across, right ankle across left thigh, draw your right shin in and just let the legs move freely about anything that feels good for you. Come center, extend your left leg and point and flex the left foot. Circle one direction and the other. Release, unwind, two feet to the mat. Extend the arms and the legs. Yep, 
and draw just your left knee in so that right leg decides if it wants to stay straight or if it wants to bend. Left hand to the left shin or hamstring, right arm out to the side. Left leg opens out to the left and center. Left and center. And then come back center, right hand outside the left leg, left arm extends out to the side. That left knee comes just past the belly button, heading to the right. And then over to the right. And as you come up, the left ankle slides across the right thigh. Bring the legs in, hold on to your shin. Rock around, any nice releasing for the hip. Come back to center, take your right leg straight up and point and flex the foot. Circle one direction and the other. Release, unwind, two feet to the mat. Gently let the knees open and close. Take your arms out to the side, open the fingers and bring them in. Wiggle the fingers, give the hands a little work here, and then rotate the wrists one direction and the other, and with your arms still out to the side, let your head move side to side. Come back to center and start arranging yourself for comfort. Do any final movements or realignments that need to happen here as you find your way into your final relaxation position for this moment in time. Once you're settled, inhale through the nose. Slowly exhale through the mouth and just be in your final relaxation. Slowly begin to bring your awareness back to your space. Bring movement back to your body, wiggle fingers and toes. And on your next inhale, extend your arms and legs. Exhaling, draw your knees in. way over to the side and back up to a nice easy seat. And as you turn your gaze to your own good heart and your bright spirit, thank and honor yourself for your practice and we thank and honor each other for sharing this time. Namaste.